Thank you for coming. Of course. In these trying times, I know it can be unthinkable to even consider these pesky little legalities, but um, we can try to keep light about it, right? Okay, so uh, today I'm meeting with... Um, with a terrible fate. Jesus, I thought we said no more joke funerals. It doesn't look good on anyone, and it makes me look like an ass. No, sir. I'm with a terrible fate. That's your name? Yes, and I'll thank you not to dwell on it. With a terrible fate, and you say the whole thing. If you please. Every time, though. Can we get on with this? Oh, of course. My apologies. Now, uh, is, is it a Dutch name? If you don't mind, sir, I've come a rather long way to be here, and I'm still not at all sure as to why I've been summoned. So would you please kindly quit acting the fool and get on with whatever game it is you're playing? You know, funny you say game, actually, because this is the reading of the last will and testament of Square Enix's manager of credibility. Oh dear. Oh no, but I'm the jerk, because your name is a sentence fragment. All right, listen up here, fate so. You're on the list of beneficiaries, and you're the only one who showed up. I'm gonna read the will now. Deal? Uh, yes, yes. I'm terribly sorry. Hey, it happens to the best of us, and to the rudest of us, as you have so graciously pointed out for us today. <clears throat> I, name redacted, Manager of credibility at Square Enix, being of sound mind and disposing memory, yada yada yada, do hereby blah blah blah, we all know this part. Disrespectful, sir. Ah, here's the good stuff. Upon my demise, whether my endeavors in the field of video gaming make me deserving of that demise or not, bequeath unto any poor schmuck silly enough to attend the reading of my last will and testament, i.e. you, three video game trailers, in the hopes that it will restore my reputation to its former glory. Video game trailers? For which games? Look, if it's another Final Fantasy XIII sequel, I'm afraid I'm just going to have to deny a dying man his last request. I can't take another Final Fantasy XIII sequel. You do know that stopping for breath is a part of speech, right? I'm just saying. Slight pauses in my speech doesn't mean it's your turn to talk. Well, was there more to that, or...? Please don't interrupt me, Mr. Watafa. It's disrespectful to me and to the recently deceased, for God's sake. A man is buried today. Just how in the world did this will end up with a charlatan like you? Just lucky, I guess. Okay, the dead man continues. My beloved mother company, Square Enix, will undoubtedly be unveiling several trailers for their new games at the E3 conference in 2015. I can only assume that at the time of my writing this, in 2007, that people's love and respect for my company will have dwindled substantially due to poor sequeling decisions and silly investments. Should have been a psychic. Alright, right, you, don't, you don't get it, that's fine. Uh, please see fit to play these three specific trailers in front of the fans. It is my dying hope that like the stories depicted in these glimpses of games to be, our fan base's love and respect for our many franchises might be revived. Thank you, and Godspeed. So. So what do you think? Well, seeing as we're the only ones in this room, I say you and I take a peek -see at these game trailers, don't you? You were included in that will, were you? Well. I'm the attorney, and he didn't pay me before biting the big one, so technically this is my paycheck. Oh my god. The first one is for Nier. The project doesn't even have a name yet, and I'm not even mad. I had completely given up on this game getting a sequel, but now it's finally getting its due. You know, Mr. Lockwell, 
The commentary this game offered on identity, rebirth, and a father's love for his daughter is the central reason why I got into video game analysis in the first place. You mean you didn't get into it for all the ladies and free foot massages? You were, you were saying? Mr. Lockwell, I have yet to see another game that demands player investment in quite the same way that Nier does. Show me another game that calls for a sacrifice of compassion not only by sacrificing the Avatar's life within the game for the sake of a loved one, but also literally erases the Avatar from the game by calling for the player to delete all of their saved data before the sacrifice can take place. Hmm. You know, that game is huge in Japan. Like, near huge. Like, that's what they say to measure largeness here. It's, uh, <clears throat> you know, to... It's big. I understand the concept. Well, you got to open the first present, so now it's Big Bro's turn. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my What? What is it? It's a game over a decade in the making, that's what. Kingdom Hearts 3, with actual battle gameplay being showcased for more than five seconds, and a glimpse into the ever more convoluted storyline involving Xehanort, Ericus, and the Keyblade War. I'm gonna be honest, it's been so long since the idea of this game entered the collective conscious that it seemed like a scattered dream that's like a far-off memory. Oh, knock it off. A far-off memory that's like a scattered dream. Stop it. I'm a fan of Kingdom Hearts, okay? And this trailer, more than 45 seconds, and it actually has some plot elements in it, and I don't know, it just seems sort of seems sort of mythological, and now it's actually on the, the horizon for us. Are you tearing up? Yeah. Yeah, I'm tearing up a little bit, and uh, I'm totally fine with admitting that to you. Jesus Christ. Although I can't love. Eh, whatever. Kingdom Hearts 3 is finally happening. What's the last trailer? Long ago, we looked upon a foreboding sky. Oh my god. I don't believe it. It's been 18 years since Final Fantasy VII was released on the PlayStation and changed the landscape of RPGs forever. And after a near eternity of Will They Won't They from Square Enix, they finally announced a remake of that very game. Cloud, who is already living with false memories of a past that is not his, is forced to take on whatever identity the agent of the player, an agent external to himself, imposes upon him. I wonder, with all the updates and acclaim, if Square Enix will decide to keep this simple mechanic. If they were to do away with it, it would certainly change the tenor of the game, as well as the player-avatar relationship. <laughs> this is unbelievable! Hell, I have an easier time believing Kingdom Hearts 3 is in development. Back in 2005, Final Fantasy fans the world over were struck with absolute glee only to have it brutally ripped from them when they were told that the incredible FF7 tech demo was just that a tech demo to show off the capabilities of the PS3. But now it seems like this life-changing, genre-defining game will actually be getting the treatment it deserves. It looks like after nearly two decades, Cloud Strife and the rest of Avalanche will be returning to gaming in a big way. In ways we've dreamed of since seeing that initial tech demo on that day ten years ago. Wow, you know, I... I'm glad I came to this meeting. Yeah. It's like by infusing new life into these old properties, Square Enix is reviving its credibility. Exactly. And what's more, I see no hint of corporate cynicism in any of these trailers. No, no, no. Speaking as an attorney, trust me. It's there. It's just really well hidden in these two-minute snippets. Well, regardless. You know, I... I really almost grew to hate Square Enix with all of their recent projects, but after seeing these trailers... Well, I'm more hopeful than I've been in a long time. Well said, with a terrible fate. Thank you kindly, Mr. Lockwell. Please, call me Mal. Mal, then. 
I suppose we'd better arrange for these trailers to be shown at E3 then, eh? Lots of work to do. Oh yeah, lots of work for sure. Hard work too, probably, but this is where my job stops. I got a backlog of cases a mile wide. What is it you do exactly? When you're not busy pissing on the graves of once beloved video game companies? <laughs> I defend their mistakes. <laughs> An admirable endeavor, to be sure. I imagine we'll meet again then, now. With a name like Fate? I'd be existentially terrified if we didn't. Thanks again, Internet Defense Attorney. Well, that's that. Another schlub successfully laid to rest in the eyes of the law. You know, it's funny that that Final Fantasy VII Remake trailer was in that bunch we got. I'm actually going to see a man about some spiky hair and a motorcycle right now. Thank you.